Hi, Right Cougars. It's Mrs. Vanderslice with my annual reading of my favorite Halloween time story by Barbara Park. It's called, Psst, It's Me, The Boogeyman. We never see his face. We only see his blue hands and pointy red fingernails. Psst, yo, down here under the bed, it's me, The Boogeyman. Yeah, you heard me, Sparky. It's the genuine, creepy-crawly, blood-chilling, spine-tingling, can't-avoid-the-urge-to-grab-your-ankle-as-you're-climbing-into-the-sack boogie guy. And the news doesn't get any better, bud, because I'm stew-spewing, gravel-chewing mad. Oh, quit your shiver and skeezix. It's not you who's got me fuming. Here, just take a look at this morning's headline. Evil boogeyman bellows boo. Boy Scouts go berserk. The boogeyman will get you if you don't watch out. It's a lie, I tell you. That lummox isn't me. I don't go clomping after campers like some bumbling, stumbling Frankenstein. And even if I did, I'd never stop and pose for pictures. I'd lose my job, Jake. Check it out. It's right here on page three of the official Boogeyman contract. The Boogeyman's identity must be protected at all costs. No one must ever gaze upon your face or, heaven forbid, take your picture and then perish the thought printed in the tabloids. If any of these calamities should occur, we, the management, regret to inform you that your services as Boogeyman will no longer be required. There, see? You gotta help me clear my name. That photo's a fake, a fib, a fraud. Here's another news flash, Filbert. The boogeyman doesn't say boo. Boo is a baby word, bubby. It rhymes with toodaloo and Winnie the Pooh. It comes after Pika and right before who? Okay, maybe if you scream it really loud at a football game, it might mean the ref made a bad call. But no matter how you shout it, boo just ain't scary, Skippy. You want to know a scary word? I'll give you five of them. Go. Get. Ready. For. Bed. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, especially if it's a dark and stormy night and your PJs are in your closet all the way in the back. And oh, dearie me, your light bulb burned out last night. But you fight your fear and you head upstairs. And then you stop at the top and you peer into the pitch black darkness of your room. You'd have to be insane to go in there. Am I right, Dwight? But suddenly your dim-witted feet rush you right across your rug and deposit you slap dab in front of your closet door, which swings open all by itself. Hmm, that's odd. Still, you gather your courage and you reach for the hook. And silly willy me, I've been waiting for you, Jack. I tenderly tickle your arm with my finest fingernail. And you yell so loud and run so fast, you never even hear me collapse on the closet floor and bust a gut full of giggles. News flash number three. I don't bellow. I rarely raise my voice. I'm a professional, Peppy. I whisper and I murmur and I whoosh and swoosh and sail. And weather permitting, I even waft on warm summer winds. Which is why my little whippersnapper on that dark moonless night last August, when dear old dad left you all alone in your big backyard looking for the little dipper, you heard just the faintest of sounds as I sneaked up behind you on marshmallow feet and fluttered my eyelashes close to your ear. Then, that's when you sensed that you gulp, weren't alone, and the hairs on your neck tried to stand up and run, and your knockin' rockin' legs turned to jiggle jam jelly. Seriously, Seymour, don't you just hate it when that happens? News flash number four. The boogeyman doesn't get ya. What does that even mean, get ya? If I got ya, what would I do with ya? Where would I put ya? What would I feed ya? 
My job is to scare ya. I don't want to raise ya. So enough already with that get ya garbage. I'm not evil, Alvin. In fact, I'm not that different from you. I gobble up chicken fingers and I gulp down gummy bears. And after eating, I almost always floss my tooth before slipping under someone's bed to catch a few Z's. Which is exactly what I'm about to do now. All this belly aching's got me beat. Besides, I'm off duty. My cloak is at the cleaners. So start spreading the word. That headline is hogwash. Oh yeah, and kindly keep your smelly sweat socks off the floor. I'm allergic, okay? Just one whiff of those things and I am out of here, dude. I start gasping and wheezing and choking and sneezing and I break out in itchy, splotchy, blue blotchies. So like I said, just keep them. Whoa, 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 hold on a second, Sherlock. You're not taking off those socks now, are you? You are? But, but I thought we were pals. Hey, stop waving those things around. What's gotten into you anyway? Wait, knock it off, ugh, bluck, not all those, ick. to my sister's room. I'm gone. And there's the sister's foot. Psst, yo, down here under the bed. It's me, the boogeyman.